Hey everyone, it's Monica from Geeksagogo.com and I'm here to talk to you about becoming the Vandersphere. In this video, I will be talking about how I created the Banner Spear cosplay and I'm going to be showing a few clips from the PAX Unplugged show. And of course, how can I forget, I actually spoke to some of the fans while we were standing in line for the Frost Haven panel. So stick around, I will be announcing a giveaway that I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to miss. Okay, so before we jump in, hi again, my name is Monica. I'm from Chicago, but born and raised in the Philippines. Two of my very well-known cosplays are the Phoenix Monster from Cool Mini Arnott's Rising Sun board game, and Arthenia the Sixth from Raging Heroes. And I also review games and do unboxing videos on our YouTube channel. Now the Banner Spear character is from this game called Frost Haven, which is out in Kickstarter right now. It is created by the amazing people from Cephalo Fair Games. I had the honor of cosplaying the Banner Spear at PAX Unplugged last year in Philadelphia and it was an amazing experience. So the first thing that I worked on when I was working on the armor was the breastplate. So we were flying out from Chicago to Philadelphia to go to the show and I wanted to make sure a lot of my materials that I that I was using to make the cosplay is durable and they could withstand um, heavy wear and tear. Um, I just basically heated it to form to my body. And here's a quick pro tip for making armor as well. If you're making anything intricate like this one, make sure that your base um, plate is all set and nice and smooth and then everything else will follow perfectly so i started with my base um my base armor before i added the detailing on top of it the third layer is actually another layer of a really really thin foam so yes there's three layers in there but then i don't have to worry about this detailing rubbing off but look at how nice like it all stayed. And it looks like it's actually layered. But if you look closely, it looks all like one foam, right? Now, the exciting part about this breastplate is the back actually. So let me flip that around. Look at this back. So normally what I would do is I would actually use my cutting machine and cut these shapes um, with the machine before I put it on top of my uh, form or whatever base armor that I have with this one. I actually hand carve every single line so I'm just gonna let this focus real quick here But man like it, it did take me a while it take it took me I think about four days to like carve everything up But it was so worth it like as you can see like this is like on camera and I'm looking at the screen right now it just looks amazing all right up next i'm going to be talking about the spears that's why she's called banner spear right all right so really quick these are made out of pvc piping and um this cotton fabric that i used so i ended up custom dyeing this fabric to this color to match the character uh, it did I, I lucked out I actually did just one um, try for the color and it just turned out really good um, so this purple one and then I have the green one the green one was a little bit harder to dye because I I chose like a lime green color um, for the dye and it turned out a little bit minty it turned a little bit of a minty green rather than a lime green compared to what was on the picture so I actually had to add a little bit of yellow but however this purple one and this blue one actually turned out amazing now what a lot of people I don't know if they noticed this but um, a lot of people were using these as props um, during the photo booth at PAX and what I ended up doing was in order for me to be able to travel with it is I made it um, with PVC piping which again is really nice and light and durable but also I added magnets 
So as you can see, like it takes a little bit for it to come apart just because of the magnet. Um, but yeah, it's it's really like it's really strong so even if I'm moving around it's not you're not dropping it um, so yeah it's I ended up just taking these apart and of course the tips are made out of foam the blades had to be made out of foam for a lot of reasons one you probably won't be able to get into the convention center if this was made out of real metal two if it were warbler again um, it would be nice, durable, but it would be heavy. And three, um, it's soft. So if I ended up poking somebody and there were a lot of kids that took pictures with us at the booth, um, you want to keep it safe for everybody when you're handling it. Um, uh, you know, sometimes there were like parties of four or five or more inside a booth and everyone's like touching these spears. It was a little bit hard to manage, but you know that it's safe because none of these points are hard. Like this one got really <laughs> bent up because of uh, just the wear and tear of just being handled by um, by the fans. So this is these are my shoes for the armor, and they're also made out of foam. And all I had to do was pretty much just slide this in and out. And being that this is foam, I love it. Um, I've made shoes with Warbler before and depending on how you make them, it's really hard to move because it's really rigid. With foam it bends, so this came right off really easily. So I can just easily change my armor and on top of that, I can still wear this shoe like if I wanted to wear it for something else. One of the parts of the build that it was kind of a fail, but it still looks nice, but I ended up building this bird out of foam. Um, it looked really cool. I honestly think it needs to be repainted, but it took a lot of beating. Uh, when I was at the photo booth, a lot of people were using it as props and some of the feathers like, came out. So I think I'm going to make a different version of, of this bird. Um, it actually looked a lot better not painted, unfortunately, but the beak is made out of warbler. I have a little, a few pieces made out of warbler just because it's a little bit more, um, it feels a little bit more realistic. And yes, I am aware this is not my best paint job ever. I'll probably airbrush this later, but this definitely is getting an upgrade. So the next time that you see me, it would actually be a nicer looking bird. And finally, this is my favorite prop build to date. So I actually had to build Alvox arms. I have two of these. I'm just going to hold on. I'm just going to show you guys one. This is also made out of foam. Again, it's for the same reason. I wanted this to last really long and I wanted it to be durable. A lot of people were using this quite a bit during the photo booth uh, or during the photos um, at the photo booth. Um, just to give you an idea how I created this. These were made out of um, foam dowels that I cut the tips to make it into like a diamond shape. Um, same goes with the fingers. The fingers are also made out of um, foam dowels. So I made it out of um, round foam dowels and I cut them in half. And then I put like what I call, I call it like skinning. I don't know if anyone else like calls it the same thing. But I pretty much like put a layer of foam right on top of it. And even if you can see kind of like a dimension in there because of how I painted this, it's actually um, like protected with that layer of foam. And right inside, I don't know if you can see, there's like also a handle right, right through there. I put another PVC handle. Um, that way, if you're holding it up, it's not just in your arm, you're actually holding on to something which makes it like really nice. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people were wearing this. Um, it was so cool. It was so nice to, to see people actually like loving, like um, putting this to good use, you know?
All right, so now let's go to the next part and I'm gonna tell you about my experience like working at the booth. We arrived at Philly and on our first day, we had to actually help with um, putting the, the booth together. This was a lot of fun, actually. I mean, I, I really got a really good workout out of it, but we had to unbox so many Gloomhaven boxes. It, we probably like unboxed like about a pallet and a half. Right after that, at night, we had a Frosthaven launch party. There was a drink called the Frozen Fist that was actually inspired by the Algox. And they also have a lot of other companies like showcasing their games at the party. All right, now let's talk about my first day at the photo booth. The photo booth looked amazing. They did a fantastic job like putting everything um, together. And there were like two sides of it. One side was Gloomhaven and the other side was Frosthaven. Yeah, I took a lot of pictures with the fans and it was really so much fun. Like I made the Agox arms as well and um, yeah, people just seemed to like it a lot, like especially the kids. So at the last day of the show, I had to escort Isaac into the Frosthaven panel and outside waiting were hundreds of fans. What's up everyone? We are So looking at the size of the audience that uh, they were about to have for Frosthaven was just amazing. So I decided to come up to some of the fans waiting in line and interview them. So what are you most excited about the announcement today? Oh, I just wanted to hear about all the new uh, locations and all the new exciting glasses they're going to be playing. So what is your favorite game? What are you liking about the It's not just chuck and dice, there's strategy involved. Uh, you actually have to plan out your moves. So it really combines that love of deep strategy with a little bit of just going in, hacking, and slashing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Isaac Childress. So for the next build, it's going to be for the harrowing Geminate. I am so excited. Uh, I've actually bought my materials already. So keep an eye out on my build. I'll be posting a lot of that on our social media, on our Facebook and Instagram. Um, so what I love about this build, uh, part of the plans, I can show you a sneak peek of it. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So you have your like, like melee, like part of the hive um, that's proficient in hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. And then you have the range side of it that has like a swarm of like insects. Um, they look like Pretty much they look like um, fireflies. Here's a picture of a sketch that I made for my plans for it. Uh, what I love about this build is it's not only going to be cosplay, it's actually going to double as a display piece. So your reward for watching this long video <laughs> is basically you get to know how to win our giveaway. So for our giveaway today, we will be giving away a copy of Frosthaven. Yay! So aren't you glad you watched this video? Because otherwise you wouldn't know I had a giveaway for the game. I'll be posting the rules down below on the description. Make sure to like this video and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't, 
please back Frosthaven in Kickstarter. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Monica from geeksagogo.com. Tune in to our next video.